Not so Freudian here, welcome back to Let's Play The Binding of Isaac Afterbirth Plus Dailies. Uh, Twitch is telling me it's only getting 2,000. Uh, kilobits per second. Bitrate when it's normally 3, so I don't know if something updated and changed. Hopefully the YouTube uh, recording and everything is fine. We're blue baby today. It's gonna be that kind of run, is it? Oh, well, Monster's Tooth is generally better than the poop. That's probably a library. That's probably a secret room. That fart actually helped a bit, because it kind of spread the enemies out so I could sneak past. Alright. That's not useful right now. Wait a minute. Do I have monstrous tooth around my neck? Since when do, uh... Active items show up on your body? Unfortunately, this is probably more important. Oh, I got another bomb. Awesome. And a key, in case I was wrong about where the secret room is. Ah, son of a crap. They don't move quite predictably enough for my liking. Cool. Uh... I could use Monstro's Tooth to drop Monster on myself, but I'm going to just use a key to come in here. I don't want either of these. But I will pick them up, actually. Uh, Necronomicon's probably better. Like, just for the um, room clear, instead of hoping that I have an enemy that'll actually get hit by it. Probably should have used that when he made a smoke bomb, now that I think about it. Come on, just float straight into the fire. Or bomb yourself, I'm not going to be picky. That works. Oh, awesome. Pentagram's so good. Glad I don't have to languish with, um, you know... 3.5 damage for any length of time. Not enough for an arcade, but arcades aren't all that useful to Blue Baby. Um, if I avoid getting hit, I'll definitely be able to take a Devil Room item. That won't be helpful unless I find two keys, basically. Ah, oh, jeez, I almost walked further out onto that space. Yeah, but seriously. This room is one of those ones that is just the relic. Oh my god, that's so good. But yeah, glad I went the correct direction. But yeah, that's one of those rooms that is just obscenely easy when you have or when you can fly. And just an enormous pain in the ass when you can't. Okay. I'll go ahead and fight the boss. At least I one shot the flies. Alright, both of them are on the ground. So I'll go ahead and do that. Hopefully I don't fight Krampus, although I doubt the um Necronomicon will do a lot of damage to him. Come on, Judas of Shadow. Alright, save that. Like, yes, yeah, save the heart. Darn it. That took forever to explode. Uh, yeah, I was saving the heart in case I could take you know, an item, and then an item that gave me hearts back, I would wind up with one more heart than if I, you know, hadn't. Oh, man. It's like the only 
only time I'll wish I had taken how to jump. I could find Transcendence in a secret room, huh? Didn't find Transcendence in a secret room. Well, Guppy's head's better than, you know, the Necronomicon. Thank you for being Monstro and not a, you know, obnoxious champion Monstro. If I die on this despite having the relic, I'm going to be pissed. <sighs> Last chance for a hanged man card. I'm going to be stupid. Huge waste of consumables, as I'm sure you are yelling at your screen, but I want a compound fracture. No keys for that. bag is just a taunt at this point. I mean, if I were, you know, a non-blue baby character, the two and a half hearts in here would have at least, you know, let me, um, you know, make some money off of it. All right, well, Two keys I spent saved me a key on the bot, uh, item room at least. Well, plus it gave me a key in one of the chests, so I guess I broke even on consumables on the trap room. Plus it gave me a couple more charges toward uh... I don't have Necronomicon. Oh. The... Relic. I was about to say toward Necronomicon, but then I was like, no, I got rid of that. I will go to the shop just in case it's one of the shops with luck upgrades and everything. Or maybe I'll find a bomb somewhere and blow up a key the keeper. Or maybe it's greed. Well, there's a bomb. Too bad I can't fly. Ooh, sulfuric acid is great. Gold key, um, I don't care so much about either of those yet, so I don't, I mean, upsizing the relic doesn't actually do anything, as far as I know. Okay, so that is the secret room. Kill these guys. 
hoping for... Okay, I can reach. I was hoping for a bomb there. Oh, wait. I wish... I'm fairly certain Little Horn lets you kill these guys while their heads are down. That was terrible. And I should have killed him sooner because of that anyway. Does the music always do that weird thing that it just did? I also gotta make sure I'm not like shooting directly into a mushroom right ahead of me. Because if it explodes, it'll um, hurt. Ah, dang it. I would've been able to get that chest, but I accidentally uh, sulfuric acid in one of the um, mushrooms. Alright, that it's not gonna be the seeker the super seeker room. It's on this row. That's not it. Alright, super seeker room's not somewhere around where it should be. Or where it's most likely to be. Oh yeah, Sulfuric Acid is a damage up, too. Not a big damage up, but it is a damage up. Okay, so don't make diglets. Stop making diglets. And keep your head up long enough for me to shoot you. Holy crap. Don't telefrag me. God, three diglets at a time? At least it's not doing that spirally attack. So much terrible, cheap damage on this fight. Thank you for just sitting still for a while. Of course, now, unless I get a... <sighs> relic heart from here, I can't take a devil item. However, I can and will take Sacred Heart. Alright, well, that worked out. <sighs> I thought that one was going to be dead before it reached me. Let's see what this is. the devil. Take the free key. <sighs> Stop getting hit. Holy crap. At least the relic gave me something. So, hoping for a bomb, although thankfully sulfuric acid tears are a reasonable facility of the time. Actually, is it just the sulfuric acid tears that do extra damage? Or all my tears from sul... Yes, that's not the secret room. Oh. Well. Free soul. Guess I should fight these, right? I'll get three spiders out of the um, pots I blow up on accident. Guess I should probably just blow up all the pots, right? Too slow for boss rush or hush. Unless I get Godhead or something. Which I guess means I shouldn't waste time there. Kill those. Perks. And speed up. I mean, perks didn't help right then. But it's going to be a massive help later if I can find another one. We're going to Shoal.
there, Kano. Oh yeah, I already used the bomb I got. Well, that was easy. Dude, did I one-shot the blue boom flies? Speed's maxed, and um, the tears up would be super helpful. Okay, super secret room. Okay, I don't want to blow him up. isn't all that useful. Oh, yeah. Uh, homing tears make your, um... Bombs home, too, now, for some reason. I don't think they used to do that, did they? Barely managed to avoid that. Hold an extra trinket. I didn't have a trinket, and lazy worm with terrible shot speed just seems awful. Bombs are always useful. Well, my flies did the job there. Uh, Alright, there should be three wall masters, and they should each get one shotted by a fly. Piercing tears, coupled with my poor shot speed means these guys are actually a little bit harder than normal. Especially since the soul shoves them out of like the direct line, where it's easier to dodge behind them. Not gonna risk that for you know a couple of flies. So I've got a 77% chance this floor. 
I mean Angel Room. But, um, yeah, I got it because I teleported there out of the curse room. <sighs> Alright, trying to get the Anglerites a pain in the butt. Alright, I thought I was going to one-shot him. Yeah, no way I'm making boss rush. Dodge, dodge. Stupid flies. Because of how big my tears are. Halitosis. Oh yeah, it just gives me a damaging aura, I believe. Let's go back, look for the shop. And that gold poop. I shouldn't have picked that up in case this gave me the counterfeit penny. Oh, my nose itches. Yeah, but the, the intercepting flies are much better when your tears are big and slow. Okay. If I had done it slightly differently, I could have emperored. But oh well. I can emperor later if I want. So let's see what's in the shop. Greed. Quarter means I can give the beggar all the money I want. So I've only got one shop left to happen. <sighs> I didn't even mean to pick that up because I couldn't actually use it. Sure, I'll take that in case I take damage or I get a devil room and trade a couple of hearts away. But yeah, if, if you're planning on playing this after I do this, uh, definitely take How to Jump on the first floor instead of uh, Necronomicon. Because getting Compound Fracture seems like it would be really interesting with the uh, homing tears and stuff. And I'll take the lock up. I'm disappointed that wasn't a... or there wasn't a devil or angel room there. <sighs> Alright. Let's see if there's anything special in here. Nothing worth doing. Looks like a secret room. Save the batteries just in case. Take a rune bag. Even though it's not likely to... Yeah, AWAS isn't going to matter now that I think about it. Well, I can take two trinkets, so may as well take Swallowed Penny. <laughs> Dang it. Not sure what happened to that one. Was it hovering over me and got took some poison damage? because it was almost dead already. Okay, I thought I killed the generator in the left side. Alright, the soul keeps pushing the knights out of alignment with my, um, damage. 
I'll open that. Did I just get hit by the Mimic a second time? Do I to use that? I mean, I'll be at full health when I walk two rooms back. I really want shot speed. No, it doesn't hurt you more than once. Weird. Oh, well. Alright, yeah. I'll be getting enough health. I have no problem walking across if there's something good in the chest. Or I could just do that completely. Miss the push. Nothing worth taking more damage for there. Wow. Yeah, these guys are going to get deflected as well. and It's going to be kind of annoying. Thankfully, it appears the poison's enough to finish him off, even if I... Okay, I'll be full health when I come out of here, too. Pheromones, glad it wasn't paralysis. Gulp means that I get both of those trinkets permanently. I thought it was only going to swallow one, but I guess I was wrong. Bearcano. Okay. Alright, I'm guaranteed an actual shot because I've fought both greeds. Backstabber's kind of pointless. Maybe I should have waited to see if there was a pair throw. That was going to show up. Uh, I mean, I didn't mean to buy that. Okay, Joker. I'll take Joker. I'll stick Buddy in a box. <sighs> Stop walking into enemies. Is the buddy just firing super short-range shots? Looks like it. It looks like they're just purple, splattery, um... Not Polyphemus, uh... Proptosis. Tears. Wow. One heck of a one-shot there. And says Joker's better. Okay. Alright, well, I thought I was. Maybe I went that one. There is a tinted rock in the top left corner. Just need to remember to do that. Uh, if I can stop getting walked on. There's that. Take Polaroid, because it's better. To the sulfuric acid tears, they do not do fires. Dead Dove is what to take. It's so much better than Dead Sea Scrolls, because it lets me fly. That's weird. I thought that was going to activate it. But yeah. I was hoping to have it activate in between the two fires, and maybe it couldn't, like, get out. How was I able to pick up that soul heart? I didn't think I'd gotten hit in this room yet. I thought I was at full health already. Okay. Alright, so I'm guaranteed at least one more devil room. Or angel room. Whichever. Probably angel room. But yeah, I am going to wait and see if I actually get one first. That's a weird champion. I don't recognize that one. I don't see any tinted rocks in here. Though it's a room with a higher than average chance of tinted rocks, I think. Uh, and Suz would have been better. So I one-shot that, dude. That's nice. Alright. Make sure to avoid hitting the 
the boom rocks on accident while I dodge. Well, as long as I'm close to them. I don't really care if they get hit while I'm a ways away. That was fast. If I had kept the Emperor, I could actually do Hush. Although I probably wouldn't do Hush with this tier stat. Wow, record for the longest time without an Acid tier so far this run. I guess that wasn't the super secret room. Ride's not really a problem. Ace of clubs, no thank you. I don't think the super secret room can be here, can it? Yeah, uh, I probably should have done that in here. For some reason I was thinking it could re-roll the... Uh, But I don't, now that I think about it, I don't think there's a room that does that. So I don't think there's a room that does the d20 thing. Okay. I definitely want to find the seeker room and blow up a keeper inside if that's possible. How many seeker rooms have no keepers in them? Unless it's greed or super greed. Since I've already fought Greed and Super Greed. I don't know why I thought he would be dead by now. So I didn't have to dodge. Alright, there's a chance that's Ansa's. It keeps giving me Ansa's shaped runes. Without actually giving me Ansa's runes. Oh, there we go. That is the secret room. Why hasn't it opened when I've been shooting it? Like, have I just been a millimeter off? Oh, you know what? I'll bet the spectral tears don't hit the wall, they just go through without impacting. Dag nabbit. Alright, so my easy way of finding secret rooms doesn't actually function anymore. Wish I'd realized that before. I mean, I would have taken Dead Dove anyway. Because being able to fly is worth more than, you know, saving some bombs, secret room hunting. Which is kind of weird. I have one syringe already. Uh, I think this is where I should start looking for a sacrifice room, actually. I definitely check this room for tinted rocks. Oh, you know what? My shots don't hit rocks anymore, either. Yeah, they just go straight through. I wonder if that's intentional. Yeah, so the super seeker room is in one of the places I looked, but didn't think it was because I was under a misunderstanding. Alright, so I didn't realize that was one of the yellow tentacles that, you know, takes swings at you. I would really like it tears up. Or three. I don't have to avoid shooting through the rocks anymore. That makes that room a whole lot more annoying. Or it would make that room a whole lot more annoying. I already used one this floor. Oh yeah, I don't need to use a bomb now because I found uh, I can see forever. Sure, I'll see if there's a tinted rock I missed or a crawl space. Because there were a lot of rocks in that room. Take that. Up here. Alright. 
So chance for, you know, Cricket's Head or something. The odds of Cricket's Head are extremely low. But there's still a chance there's, you know, decent numbers of consumables or something in here. World's useless unless I get a... Uh, or unless I need to use the devil this room floor. Okay, use the devil in here. I meant Joker if I said devil earlier. Right, use that just to kill them quicker. It's the stupid champion with weird hitboxes and times and everything. Be being able to poison him, though, helps. Alright, save that because it's going to give me three hearts. Joker in Lazarus's rags. And by give me three hearts, I mean... If I had... If that was a devil room that was going to give me, um... Or was going to let me trade hearts away, I would have gotten the three back. Welcome whoever joined in on Twitch. Use the world. No sacrifice room. There is a special room up a little bit from the start. Okay, so the baby is firing piercing shots that are occasionally also godhead shots. It also looks like it has microencephaly. weird and I won't, I've never paid attention to if like the way the different buddy in a box babies look is tied to their attacks or if they're just assigned a different look or a random look and a random attack every time one gets summoned and now that I'm thinking about it I think I actually knew that Spectral Tears made it so, um, the Sulfuric Acid wouldn't hit walls or rocks anymore. Thankfully, I've got the, um, Gold Bomb so I can just blow up all the mushrooms and everything I feel like. A few points. I'm obviously not making it to hush. Okay, stick your head up. Get killed by a single fly. You're, uh... Alright, I'll probably wind up using this to... Oh, you know what? No, perks is better even if there's a sacrifice room on the next floor. Because I was thinking, oh, I'll just yeah a, a soul heart so I get an extra play on the sacrifice room. No. Because perks makes it so I'm only taking half a heart every time I use the sacrifice room instead of a full heart. Okay, it moved me one room away. Yeah, welcome whoever just joined it on Twitch. Use that. Um, and the soul has saved me from so many random hits. One. Okay. Oh, I thought they were all dead. Hate those things. They pop up so far away. And then they're gone before you can, like, get to where you can physically take a shot at them. Bunch of 
gold chests on this floor, but you know, I guess there could always be more. This is another one, like I was talking about earlier, where being able to fly just makes the room trivial. But it's just a huge pain in the ass otherwise. Oh, I got a soul art in the last room. Okay, that one made two of the walking hosts in way too quick of a time. Not a single lucky penny, despite all the pennies I've gotten. <sighs> Better rooms for that, but whatever. I'll just see if there happened to be a soul heart in there. Are the blown up keepers? Didn't have a uh, natural double room last floor. Hopefully I'll get an angel room this floor with something really good in it. I wonder if I should have come back as Lazarus last floor, picked up the super bandage. I wonder how close I would be to full health right now. I remember picking this up, and oh yeah, when tears go through it, they split into like rainbow. But it's just like a really weird requirement, and it's kind of hard to do on purpose. The prism itself doesn't actually do any damage which would make it a lot more useful. Dude. I finally get a useful trinket. Plus 4.6. Oh my... Damage went up by 30% there. Still haven't had a single tears up though. Just the tears down from the... Um, Dagos will give me a heart back after I get hit at some point. Whatever. No. Actually, there was reason to save it, because I could have Yared it for later, if I got a Yared rune at some point. Remember, I do have to look for a... Um, I thought I was far enough back that wasn't going to hit me. I do have to look for a sacrifice room. Oh. I guess I didn't kill that. <sighs> Come on, give me a lucky penny. Holy cow. Is it really that difficult? Didn't even see the incubus there. I need to stop getting hit. Like, I'm gonna have a massive damage penalty, and there was no reason for, like, 90% of the hits I've taken. Alright, Tinted Rock. Huh, my speed was really high. I actually absorbed the speed down from the uh, virus without actually losing any speed. I'm still... In yeah, that's the room. It tries to spawn one of the tethered dudes. Okay, that's gotta be the secret room almost. really good for the sacrifice room as well. Because it'll let me uh, Oh 
Okay, is the soldiers, like, not working sometimes? That one should have been dodged. But yeah, or wait, no, I've already picked up the um, key pieces, so the angels aren't going to try and drop key pieces. And s I'm basically never hit by the legs coming down. How am I letting myself get hit now? At least I poisoned them, so I got a couple of demon hearts back, but holy crap, that was awful. Not a sacrifice room, but that is a curse room. I'm also hoping Runebag drops another Dagoz to go with the Yera I've got. Or I could have just yera you know, those two. Because then that would be worth three soul hearts instead of one and a half. Alright, thankfully Envy is pretty easily dealt with. I was hoping for Demon Hearts there. Still only one lock. Chariot Degas. Well, it's all a moot point if there's doesn't wind up being a sacrifice room, so I'll just wait and see. Did I take the habit at some point? Oh, these things. Luckily they die in one hit once they stick their heads up. No sacrifice room. Don't use the chip. That was weird. He acted like he jumped again when he didn't. Alright, well. No way to get down to... Yeah, it was like Depths 2 or something. Where the... Um last sacrifice room was. Yeah, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe if you would. I'll see you guys tomorrow. If I can get the mouse pointer over to OBS.